All week long on KTLA, we are breaking bias, and they say that beauty is in the, high, in the eye of the beholder, but does appearance change the way that people treat you? We sent our Casey Montoya out to the streets to find out, but first, we gave her a little makeover. Take a look. We are getting ready to go onto Ventura Boulevard and do a social experiment if they will let me use their cell phone. Okay, we're now here with Casey and Michael Spatola, the genius behind uh, Casey's look. Uh, the before and after here, quite a contrast to say the least. Mm -hmm. Definitely. For sure. Thanks a lot. Oh, it was a pleasure. <laughs> so what was the process here? Well, uh, we used uh, four different prosthetic pieces, mm -hmm. uh, two cheeks, a nose, and a forehead. Uh, the nose was just to make her nose bigger, basically, less attractive mm -hmm. and then the cheeks and forehead were rough skin texture uh, basically uh, acne scarring uh, so that when the whole look was finished she didn't look much like herself anymore mm -hmm. yeah the nose throws it off a lot yeah. I think and you've done something similar to this you guys have worked together <laughs> as well uh, right yeah. yeah a while back it uh, did some panhandling on the streets mm -hmm. and um, for a story for a First story, <laughs> for a story, yeah. Heard you made some money. I actually got good at it though, but I gotta tell you, it was a great makeup job. It was, it was fun. And so I can ask both of you guys, when you both get this makeup and you become someone else, does your demeanor shift? And how did you feel, Casey? Well, I didn't think it was going to as much. You know, we went out with my producer, Madeline, and I didn't think that I was going to change, but after you get treated, so differently mm -hmm. for for a while it kind of does affect you after an hour of doing it it's kind of draining and you just mm -hmm. get used to people not wanting to make eye contact with you mm -hmm. uh, not wanting to help you in my case i was asking people if i could use their phone and the reaction was quite honestly mm -hmm. I thought one thing was going to happen, and mm -hmm. another thing happened. So that's why it was very interesting how it turned out. To a lot of people, you're actually invisible. I mean, you may say something to them. Hey, I, for me, it was like, hey, you got a buck, and they just walk past you, don't even look at you. Exactly. They yeah. don't even notice you're there. Well, obviously, too, you're beautiful, and you know, even when I saw it, I was like, she's still beautiful. But you know, if if you look at that though, from people coming toward you, you have people looking at you all day and on TV and in person. Was it a different look that they gave you, or did they just not look at you, or completely how? different? And we did uh, so we did the prosthetics mm -hmm. and you know what we're calling the not so pretty look the first day, mm -hmm. and then we went out all done up the second day, kind of TV ready is what mm -hmm. I would call it. Mm -hmm. And the way that you get looked at or looked past, exactly mm -hmm. like what Glenn said, it's almost as if you are invisible until you walk up to someone wow. and ask them or, or start start speaking to them. Mm -hmm. They almost look at like, oh wow, you startled me. I didn't even know you were there. But when you're all done up and looking your best, people see you from a mile down the street. Yeah, and sometimes they allow certain things too, right? right. And Michael, you've done this a lot to people probably as well. Do people shift when you make them less attractive? Yes, they do. Uh, I've seen, like some actors will actually fall asleep in the chair and wake oh. up and see what they look like. Mm. Others will use that to um, sort of get into character. Um, this is uh, only one of the few times I've done this for reality, where we've gone out like, like we did with Glenn uh, two years ago. Uh, I heard you made a good bit of cash. And... Yeah, once I, once I got my wrap down, uh, we wanted to see if I could make minimum wage, and I was pulling in about 20 bucks an hour. Yeah. So, so okay. Casey, your, your story's going to air tonight? Tonight at 10 mm -hmm. o'clock, and you know you think it's going to go one way. You think, mm -hmm. oh, well, if you go out onto the street looking ugly versus pretty, mm -hmm. this is what's going to happen. But it definitely did not turn out the way that I expected. Interesting. So you'll have to watch. All right, I will. Michael and Casey, thank you. Thank you. So I right. guess the good personality wasn't enough. Can beauty give you a leg up on life? What about the opposite? Is being unattractive impediment to success? Well, tonight, KTLA begins a special Breaking Bias series. All week long, the KTLA news team hit the streets for some thought-provoking social experiments. First up, our Casey Montoya, incognito in the San Fernando Valley, hardly recognized you. Definitely, a lot of people mm -hmm. asking about that video. It took a long time to get like that, but have you ever wondered, can your appearance impact how much you get paid, plus how you're treated by perfect strangers? Well, according to a University of Texas economist, those viewed by society as a attractive will earn $230,000 more over their lifetime than those considered unattractive. So to test this theory, I got a two hour make under to investigate the ugly side of today's beauty bias.
picture-perfect selfie. Filtering photos for followers and likes to lament your status. There's a lot of social and financial benefits to being attractive, and particularly uh, in this post-media era that we're living in now. Studies show good-looking people make about 12% more money than their less appealing counterparts, but just how far can a pretty face take you? We are getting ready to go onto Ventura Boulevard and do a social experiment if they will let me use their cell phone. Hi, do you have a, a cell phone I could use real quick? My d phone died. No? Can I use your phone for a second? My no? Excuse me. Do you have a phone or anything? Do you have guys have a cell phone I could use real quick? My phone just died. I'm sorry. sorry. Oh, okay. Do you happen to have a cell phone I could use real quick? I don't. Okay. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Yeah, I... The one said no, and I saw a phone in her bag, mm -hmm. and then she pawned me off under her friend. Do you have any guys have a phone I can use real quick? Phone? Yeah. Okay. I definitely feel different. Mm -hmm. They're avoiding looking at me, trying to get away as fast as possible. I feel like tomorrow, some people will say no because they're in a hurry, but I feel like I'm going to have much better odds of getting someone's phone. Day one, a beauty experiment bust. But back to my regular reflection. Day two, Ventura Boulevard shoppers seem more receptive. Excuse me, is there any way I could use your phone really quickly? My di mine died and I'm supposed to meet someone. Sure, give me a shot. Hey, I could use your phone like really quick. Mine died. Sorry. Okay. Excuse me, can I bug you real quick? Do you have a phone I could just make a quick call? Mine died and I'm meeting someone. Yeah. You are so beautiful. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> can I bug you for a second? My phone is dead. Do you have a phone I could use for one quick call? Sure. Can I borrow your phone for one quick second? Mine's dead and I've been yeah. waiting for someone forever. Can I bug you for a second? Sure. My phone is dead and I've been waiting for someone. Can I just make a quick call? Sure. Definitely everybody was more receptive to this today. Almost everybody said yes to me today. And even if they didn't have a phone, they stopped and they wanted to help. And the only people that said no were women that were clearly in a hurry. We were in the same spot of town, same time of day. So, you know, similar people. And they definitely reacted much differently. They were very kind to me today. My 2019 cosmetic surgery is expected to rake in upwards of $27 billion. But experts insist society's beauty bias was born far before Botox. The idea that beauty has always been, uh, you know, going back eons, uh, you know, to the beginning of mankind, beauty is a rarity and rarity means value. And as social media magnifies the flaws of even the fairest of them all, the $33 billion beauty business booms. But remember, in the pursuit of perfection, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I think there's other ways of being successful um, aside from beauty. One of those is charisma. You could think of people that have a lot of personality. He or she has a great personality uh, and, that, and that'll get you a long way as well. So interesting to say the least, but before we did this experiment, I actually thought that women would be nicer to me when I wasn't attractive. And it turns out that men were actually nicer to me when I had that mask on and they were more willing to help. Although those who did help me didn't want to make eye contact with me, which was the no. strange thing. So even wow. if they handed over the phone, yeah. uh, when I had the you know ugly makeup on, they had trouble looking at me, looking no me in kidding. the eye. But to a man, the second day, every one of them. Every single the one of them. And even the women. Even a second the women. thought, you yeah. know, just handed it. Really fascinating. Casey, thank you thank so you. much for that.